Hi people, it's Leona. In just one week, I will be getting on a plane and heading to New Orleans, Louisiana. And because it's a week away, I'm starting to figure out what I need to pack and what I possibly need to get that I don't have right now. I don't like waiting the day before. It's too much pressure. I can't deal with it so I do it a week ahead and while I'm doing it or starting it now I might as well show you some of the things I pack with me specifically what I pack in my toiletry bag starting with what I bring for my hair when I'm on vacation I do not um, shampoo my hair I only co-wash because it's just easier and faster for me to do so the conditioner that I use to co-wash it's obviously in a travel size container right now but it's Trader Joe's tea tree tingle conditioner so I bring this and then to style my hair I use three products I use Kinky Curly's not today leave-in conditioner I have to get a travel size container for this see it's good that I'm doing this ahead of time so I can get the things that I need to get then I use Shea Moisture's Curl Enhancing Smoothie and I am so happy that they have started making these travel size containers because I don't have to worry about going out and getting containers in for this anyway the last item that I use to put in my hair to style it I use Shea Moisture's Curling Gel Souffle also need to get a travel container for that when I'm washing my hair, I use a wide tooth comb to detangle, so I need to bring one of these with me as well as a pick in case I want to get some more volume, you know, after my hair is all styled and everything. So I bring it to pick with me. Um, some extras that I bring for my hair, I bring two hair... I bring two hair bands uh, just in case I want to put my hair up or I need to get my hair out of my way or something like that. And then when I'm styling my hair, I need to use clips to keep, because I style my hair applying products in different sections, so I need to use clips to keep the sections away from each other. So I use this clip and then I also use these two kind of clips. Now on to what I bring for my face. To cleanse my face, I use Cetaphil's uh, Facial Cleanser. Then to moisturize my face, I use Eucerin's Daily Protection Face Lotion. When I have to take my makeup off, I use e.l.f.'s Cleansing Cloths. You know, cheap and easy, affordable. I won't be mad if I lose these or anything. So after I've taken the makeup off with the cleansing cloths and washed my face, then I use some Witch Hazel to uh, on a cotton swab to make sure that absolutely all the makeup is off of my face. When I travel, I tend to get sick um, on the first couple of days, not too often, but it does happen from time to time. And it's because I'm on a plane in an enclosed space surrounded by people that don't know how to cover their coughs properly or their sneezes properly. So you have all that in the air. And then when they like cough and sneeze in their hands, they're touching everything that you might touch. So yeah, I have gotten sick. And to combat that, I bring a remedy kit with me. In that remedy kit, I bring some tea. This is a Gypsy Cold Care Tea, and this is Echinacea Plus. So the Echinacea boosts my system, and the cold care tea helps. Like if I have a sore throat and coughing or anything, I have to. I use these with honey, so it really, really helps. Drinking something warm and made for like cold symptoms. Then, in combination with the tea, I also bring some Tylenol cold pills. I bring um, pills for the day and then pills for me to take at night. I'm always scared that I might eat something that might not agree with my stomach. And if I ate something that doesn't agree with my stomach and I have to get on a plane, that's not going to work. So I make sure to bring some anti-diarrhea pills with me, just in case can never be too prepared. The most recent addition to my remedy kit is these Advil pills right here. And I am so grateful that I have these with me during my recent European trip in January because I was having some teeth issues. I had a toothache like I've never experienced in my life and it wasn't going away. It would wake me up in the middle of the night. So if it wasn't for this Advil, I would have gotten zero sleep on that vacation. And uh, ugh, bring you some pain relievers, people. Just bring it. 
just in case. The last item that's in my remedy kit that I bring are these band-aids. When I go on vacation, I'm always scared that my period is gonna come out of nowhere, so I make sure to bring some sanitary napkins with me just in case my period decides to make a surprise visit. And yes, I use sanitary napkins and not tampons because I've just never been comfortable with the idea of having chemically treated cotton stuffed up inside me. The items that I bring for my body. So to cleanse my body, I bring two things. I bring exfoliating gloves with me. I also bring my own bar of soap because whether I'm staying in an Airbnb or a hotel, whatever's provided, I don't like to use. I just like to make sure that I have my own soap with me. So this is what I use to cleanse my body. When it comes to moisturizing my skin, I bring whatever lotion that is part of Target's travel section of little miniature items so i bring a lotion with me and since i'm going to be going to you know someplace in the south and it's going to be hot the sun's going to be out blaring making sure i bring some suntan lotion which i need to get some travel size container for that last but not least my deodorant and the items i bring for my beautiful smile I bring floss with me and a toothbrush, obviously. I don't have my toothbrush right now, I need to go out and get one. And I bring toothpaste. Obvious things, I know, but I'm sharing what I bring with you. And now in like a miscellaneous section of just random things that don't really fit into a category, I bring cotton balls. I also bring Q-tips. And the most random item is safety pins. Mm -hmm. I use safety pins because a lot of times my chests like to show themselves to the world. So I have to like trap them in using safety pins on my clothing to make sure they do not get out for the world to see. And people, those are all the items in my toiletry bag. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you are not subscribed to this channel, please feel free to subscribe. And if you've already subscribed but you're not really getting notified whenever I put up a video, hit that bell icon under the video and turn on notifications so you can be notified the next time I upload a video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.